Noch ne, everyone. Hope everyone's had a nice couple of days. I sure have. Starting a new storyline arc called Vigilance. I'll read that off in just a second. Commander, just the person I wanted to see. The council is concerned that rogue elements operating out of the Severn system. Reports of Orions continue to come in from our intelligence on the front. Every time we send a KDF ships to investigate, they never return. This wouldn't be the first time Orions have acted without consulting me. Some defiance is to be expected. They target our warships though, they've gone too far. You don't need me to tell you this, but prepare for a counter hostile Ryans when you arrive. They're acting against the interests of the Empire and won't be friendly to outsiders. Serve the Empire well. Yay. Little ways to go to the Savern system. And we're cruising at or eight point three.
Captain Command is getting word that Orion ships without KDF transponders have been operating out of the system. The High Council does not completely trust Melanie Dedan, and they're worried that the Syndicate will cause trouble for our Empire. Our orders are to investigate where they are and what are they doing. Ryan Syndicate are allies of the Empire. This wouldn't be the first time they betrayed our goodwill. Since no other ship has returned from the system, I suggest we shoot first and ask questions later. We have to treat these Orions as hostile until we learn otherwise. I'm surprising these guys.
Okay, where's the next trader? Guessing you're over here. And I was right. Corsair Flight Deck Cruiser. There's a large radiation source located in the center of the these asteroids. It seems to be all the scavenger drones are dealing with. A suggestion would be to investigate it. All right. Looks like a Borg Sphere in there. Ship is under attack. And I was right. Radiation is coming from an abandoned Borg Sphere. I guess we gather data from the Orion facilities in the system to determine what exactly they are doing here.
Whereas I could stay cloaked while scanning there. You call me your enemy, I do not understand. You were instrumental in causing the expulsion of my house, the house of Tor. I bet you think you stopped our little operation here, but you are too late. I recovered the last of the more weapons and be on my way. You and your pitiful ship cannot stop me. Battle stations, prepare for combat. Class battle with the cruiser, huh? House of Torg, I thought we would be rid of them by now. I will begin data mining the information we got out of those Orion facilities to find out more about what they're doing here, sir. It's like they were stripping the weapons. Shipping the weapons to the Vela system. They had a buyer named Hassan. I wonder whose side he's on. They need to report these fightings to Chancellor Jim Pock immediately. Ah, the House of Torg. Reduced to simple piracy through your actions and those of House of Martok. How pathetic. If they have been scavenging that Borg sphere for weapons, we need to recover them before the, before the Remnant allies can put them to use. Serving Empire Congratulations. Come, Come on. on. The once mighty house of Torg reduced to scavenging and piracy. Uncovering the fact that they were stealing we selling Borg weaponry put you in a position to stop them. The logs you downloaded show they were headed for the Vila system. There are several Orion Syndicate facilities located there. It's likely they are storing the weapons in one of them until the buyer can make a delivery. Weapons should be Simple to scan for, but local Orions might not take too kindly to having their warehouses scrutinized. Serve the Empire well.
Captain, you are aware the system is a hotbed of Orion activity. The Syndicate doesn't want any problems with the Empire, but they're dealing with illegal goods or worse. Allied with the House of Torg are sure to be hostile to our presence. We should scan the facilities ahead to determine the location of the Borg weapons. Scans indicate a large amount of residual radiation in this facility, sir. Weapons must be here. I can't pinpoint the location, though. They threw up some sort of localized dampening field as soon as we try to lock on to the source of the readings. Need to beam down and disable the field before we can get a transporter lock on those crates. Let's do it. Should be console nearby that controls the dampening field, sir. The damping field is down, sir, but we're still having difficulty getting a transporter lock. Weapons must be in an area that has partial sensor shielding. I suggest you locate and mark, mark each weapon crate for transport. and kill everyone we see.
Captain, I'm detecting several beings behind this door. We will follow your lead into battle, sir. And I forgot one more down here. All the crates are on board the Victory, sir. Captain, I recommend that the way team beam back to the ship quickly. Long range sensors have picked up a battleship approaching a high warp. And let's deal with it. <clears throat> I understand that you have the weapons I purchased from the House of Torg. Give them to me now. I won't ask again. Never. Ramblin, so that's who the House of Torg was selling to. One more reason, one more loss you've dealt to the House of Torg. Someday they will want revenge and the crew of the victory will be ready. We're clear to leave the system on your command. Now let's get out of here. Well done, I'll send a transport to get the weapons from your ship. I will not condone the use of Borg weapons. There is no honor in it. If we did so, we might have some victories, but the percussions would act. The repercussions of that act will be a pale on the Empire for generations to come. Serving Empire. Congratulations. Come on. Commander, a bird of prey and a very important mission has gone missing in rival in space. We received a brief burst from his emergency transponder, but then it w went silent. We don't know what happened, but it is vital that we recover the ship's data recorder and all of its sensor data. I want you to report to Oris system, its last known location of the ship. Find the vessel. If there are survivors, you are authorized to assist them. However, recovery of his data is your primary concern. 
Serve the Empire. Captain, the bird of prey activated his emergency beacon and the rest system. The transmission stopped less after less than six minutes. This is the best place to start our search. It may still be in the orbit. We could have crash land one of the planets. I'm ready to begin a sensor sweep on your command. There's too much radiation from a Earth Prime, sir. It's scrambling the sensor signals. I ran we attempt to narrow down the search area with more intensive scan of key areas. That small island nebula is a good place to start. Ionic radiation is reducing our sensor range, sir, attempting to compensate. I have a detailed scan of the ion nebula, sir. I can compensate for its effects on the sensors now. I am detecting a cluster of debris behind the larger asteroid. Metallic content is consistent with a ship. I recommend we approach. If it is the bird of prey, we might have something left to salvage. For too much debris, sir. I have to compensate the sensors. Recalibrate the sensors to compensate. This wreckage isn't the bird of prey, Captain. I'm reading both Romulan and Nausicaan allies in the mass. There are signs of anti-weapon discharge, sir. The area of battle sensors have been further refined to compensate for polarized shadows sensor shadows caused by the debris. Next we should target the radiation anomaly.
Multiple warts attended. There's a hail coming in, putting on the main screen. This is pirate space, and we answer to no one. Leave now or die, coward. <laughs> Calling me a coward? I'll break your bony jaw. You will never surrender? Hmm. Too bad for you. Four shields failing. Right shields failing. Target shields have failed. Got it, Captain. Sensors are detecting an energy signature on the surface of the Orith 2 that corresponds to a Klingon bird of prey. It's heavily damaged, but the warp core didn't breach. There could be survivors. We need to get closer before we can send an away team down. Standard orbit established, sir. The weight team is standing by in transporter room one. Captain, I'm detecting bands in the uh, fist drum and the rock formations here. You now, scattered transporter signals. This is as close as we can get to the bird of prey safely. Recommend we make our way to the high ground and get an overview of the area, and we can plan how to proceed to the crash site. This is right. The trans trans the tricorder's range is reduced by more than sixty percent. There are fistrum deposits in this area, along with trace amounts of calbonite. This will account for some of the variations. There's something else. Maybe my tricorder is malfunctioning, but if I didn't know better, I think it was a jammer of some sort. Captain, would you scan and confirm these readings? Thank you, sir. It's not our tricorders. It's not the mineral deposits. There are a low-level duonetic field in the area. It will affect tricorders and transporters, but I think our weapons will still work. Strange, though. Naturally occurring duonetic fields won't be this constant. This may be artificially generated. Captain Victory is already having trouble keeping a sensor lock on us. It won't be safe to use the transporters again unless we use a pattern enhancer.
Captain, the wounds in this body were inflicted by an energy weapon, but it wasn't a disruptor. There's something strange in this jungle. I don't think we're alone. I saw something moving. We should scan the area again. This planet is playing tricks on me. There's nothing there. It's where I put up a fight before dying. I'm picking out three different blood types, two of which are not Klingon. Feel eyes from the jungle watching us. There are many dangers here. I found a trail captain leads to the rocky ground, then disappears. This warrior was hunted by something that walked upright. The animals are not the most dangerous thing here, sir. Captain, we're close to the crash site. Captain, that beast is eating a body. It looks like someone from the bird of prey. What should we do? I will not leave a warrior to such a fate. Destroy that beast. Captain of the Warrior bears the insignia of a commander. I believe he was the first officer of the downed ship. At least he died in battle. May he find honor in Stovokor. It will take hunters with great cunning to overcome a trained Cleon warrior. This one fought bravely but was taken down by at least two attackers with blades. Animals could not have made these wounds.
I have identified the weapon that made these wounds, Captain. Have you ever fought the Herogen? They think of themselves as fearsome war hunters, but they never face the likes of us. The Herogen like to use traps to ensnare their prey. We must be prepared. Captain, I recommend we get a baseline scan of the area before we start our search. I'm picking up some life signs, sir, but the radiation from the ship's reactor is affecting my tricorder. We need to search the area ourselves. There was no mechanical failure. My ship was shot down. We ran into Nausicans in this system. The pirates were a trivial concern, but they got a lucky shot at our port nacelle. I had to take shields offline until my engineer could get in there and patch up the power couplings. That's when the Herogen attacked. The cowards waited until we were almost defenseless. A third of my crew survived the crash. We stayed close to the ship and tried to get the emergency beacon working. But the Herogen jammed our signals with a dual-netic field. They never stopped hounding us. The Herogen destroyed our supplies, stole our medkits, sabotaged our weapons. And then, when we were weakened, they started hunting us. I've lost more than a dozen warriors. I don't know how many are left. A oh, Romulan captain would need to get this green blooded viper close. Probably know he has something to do with the destruction of the ship. This warrior is killed by fl blunt force trauma, sir. The wounds could have been caused by the force of the crash of the ship's internal dampeners were offline before the ship hit the atmosphere. It was likely that many of the crew were killed this way. Captain, this warrior survived the crash. In fact, I'm not detecting any signs of trauma. What? There is here, though, our weapon marks from an extremely sharp blade, defensive wounds by the looks of them, and tracing the blood trail back to the source, I found a second drag path and two sets of footprints. This warrior died trying to defend someone else, someone who was taken. This person survived the impact, but died soon afterwards from blood loss. There's a new warrior in Stovokor. I'm detecting electrical burns and plasma damage, Captain. There are pieces of shrapnel that could have come from exploding console embedded in the skin. 
These warriors die with honor, sir. There's nothing that indicates anyone left the ship. Anyone on the ship left their post. I'm detecting level 3 radiation burns and severe heat damage. This person was in a very close, very close to a power conduit when it exploded. I'll fight until my last... That's... I feel my strength returning. My vessel was on a reconnaissance mission. We surveyed several Talshiar bases and entered the Raider system under cloak. We have complete scans of the Romulan's defenses and what could be data on a new type of Romulan ship. There is a complication, however. When we were leaving the last base, we detected a Romulan shuttle attempting to hide its energy signature in our warp trail. I ordered the shuttle disabled, and its pilot brought aboard for questioning. I plan to take the Petak back to Kronos. When the Nausicans knocked our power offline, though, he escaped the brig and sabotaged our computers, encrypting our sensor data. You'll need to get past the Romulan security lockout to get the data. If you can't break his code, I'm sure you can convince him to do it for you. <laughs> Captain, some of the ship's systems should still have power. If we find the terminal that use... Wow. If we find a terminal that's still relatively intact, we should be able to use it to access the ship's data core. I am ready to leave this planet. I'll follow you back to the transport point. Victory, this is a way team. We're on our way to the transport site. Stand by. Treacherous Herojan scum! Go! Catch that patak of a Romulan! Here I will stand. My crew will be avenged!
Captain Cog must have a bomb rigged to the warp core. He knew the Hrogen would return. Captain, I'm detecting Cleon life signs up ahead. There could be more survivors in the crash. We need to investigate. Miserable Toba. These hunters have no honor. If they did, they wouldn't keep warriors caged like animals. I recommend we free everyone and send them to the Pattern Enhancer, then return there ourselves. Captain Katang brought us some time. It would be disrespectful not to make the best of it. I submit to your will. Among my people, that would make you bound to protect me as you would an honored guest. So, guard me now, if you are truly honorable. A large force of Herogen are coming this way. I won't survive without your assistance. Fine. Captain, it's not clear what Rahin knows about Captain Gatag's mission, but we do know he wanted us to capture him and escape from the Herogen. It's up to you whether or not you want to take the Romulan with us. Secure the prisoner and prepare to move out. You won't regret this. If I ever return to my home, I will tell my people that there is at least one officer of the Empire who truly knows the meaning of the word honor. Lead the way. charge underneath me. It is wired to explode if I move. You might be able to disarm it.
where you are. Let us talk of victory. Ha-ha! I slew the Herogen's leader in combat. <laughs> and then caught most of the rest of them in the blast. It was glorious! But there is still glory to be had. A second Herogen Alpha still stalks this jungle. I led him here. Prepare for battle! I rule this jungle and everything in it is my prey. You may have evaded some of my traps, but that only prolonged the hunt. <laughs> I will give my initiates the honor of killing you. They need the taste of blood to keep them hungry for more. You are a friend to me and my house. You saved me and my warriors from being hunted like targs in a pit. I will not forget. When we meet again, we will drink a barrel of my family's finest blood wine. Have you ever had the 2309 vintage? Hmm? I have the prisoner. Excellent. I have many questions for this one. <laughs> Before I am through, he will tell us all he knows. Then he will beg for death. Perhaps I'll carve the names of every one of my crew into his back. That way he will carry them with him for the rest of his miserable, short life. Victory is ready to beam us up, Captain. We'll leave whenever you're ready. Although the ship was lost, saving a tag, a great boon to our efforts in the sector. Well done, Commander. And that is the end of this stream, and I will see everybody next time.